Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are all the books that I will hopefully be reading in April. I'm actually really looking forward to like every single one of these books. I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to this. I am actually really loving what I'm reading right now. I'm actually not reading as much as I used to. I don't feel like I'll be doing mid-month wrap-ups anymore on my channel, by the way, because I'm not reading it as much as I used to. And that's totally fine with me. So I love how I'm dedicating time to specifically the 12 books that I pick each month and books that I pick randomly because I am a mood reader at heart. So anyway, these are 12 books that I do really, really, really want to read in April. I, of course, have to mention Tiffany and I's Beam Me Up book club pick. If you didn't know, my lovely bestie Tiffany from TikTok's Pages and I run a book club called the Beam Me Up book club. It's a book club where we read alien and monster romance books. We're going to be reading one book a month. We've done two two months so far, two books so far. So our next pick, our pick for April, the live show will be towards the end of April. Um, Check my Instagram, by the way, if you want like a specific date because we have not settled on that yet but it'll be towards the end of april anyway um we picked american werewolf in space this one is by alicia sunderland and uh, this cover had me really intrigued um but then when you take a closer look like the werewolf on the cover is a woman like i don't think i've ever read a wer woman werewolf romance i don't think so i don't think i have there have been werewolf romances where like the hero bites the heroine and then she turns into a werewolf because there have been those books, but like where the heroine is the werewolf, I have, don't think I've read any of those before. So it looks like our heroine has been taken from Earth, like abducted by aliens. And then um, this other group of aliens like comes and saves them and she ends up falling for an alien. So, and she's like a werewolf shifter, which is so cool. So Tiffy and I are really looking forward to this. This one's like Kindle Unlimited. If you would love to join us, please do. We're really excited for this pick. I of course have to pick a book every month that has disability representation because I just, want to read more obviously um so this one is forget the stars by kelsey kingsley this book has ibd representation which is inflammatory bowel disease so think kind of like uh, crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis i'm not sure which one our hero has i think our hero has this and he's also a rock star hero which rock star books aren't really my cup of tea but i feel like this might be for me it sounds up my alley and it looks like this is like childhood best friends to lovers which i also adore next i would like to pick a book from my kindle library i want to start reading books from my kindle library because i haul all these books every single month and i rarely actually read them okay um so this one is bittersweet by serena bowen the first book in her true north series which is a small town romance series i think this is a second chance romance because it says five years ago they shared a couple of steamy nights together but that was a lifetime ago this book takes place on griff the hero's um family farm the heroine's name is audrey and i think she's trying to get a certain job and like the hero is kind of like standing in her way or something like that it says that this is a standalone novel that contains growly alpha farmers gourmet yumminess a steamy outdoor shower and proof that farmers don't mind getting dirty. Mm, that sounds delicious. For a book off of my physical TBR, I picked The Center by Emma Scott. I ended up getting this book at Book Bonanza last year and met Emma Scott and she signed it for me. Um, but this is the first book in her um, Angels and Demons duet. Um, I believe this is a paranormal romance series by her. Like, look, it's a man with wings. A man with wings I am a sucker for. Um, but I've only read Emma Scott's contemporary romances. And this is actually going to be a buddy read with Zay over at Witty Reads because she also loves Emma Scott. So we're going to buddy read this paranormal romance together. We're both really excited. It just looks really good. I love anything about Emma Scott and I'm really excited that this one is paranormal. Every single month, I do a dedicated reading vlog for a historical romance book off of my shelves because I have a lot of books in my collection for my historicals. And then I I vlog my experience reading it and post it for my channel members. Last month I ended up picking up this book Escape Not My Love by Elaine Kaufman and I'm gonna re repeat it okay I'm gonna repeat this one. Honestly I'm behind in my uh vlogs for my channel members so we're just gonna put it on the next month so I don't have to worry about catching up. It's okay it's okay. So um I was very intrigued by this one because of the step back it looks so cool and then I thought she looked pregnant on the front. And then one of my uh, viewers told me in the comments, like, I think that's just her hip popped out. And I'm like, I'm so dumb. I thought she looked like pregnant. I thought this was like her pregnant belly. I thought that was her pregnant belly. Like, is it just her hip cocked out? I don't know. No, I feel embarrassed. <laughs> Cause I was like, this book looks so cool. Like that's her pregnant belly on the cover. And I don't think it is now. So anyway, this is a Western romance. I think our hero is like a gunslinger of some sort. And I think he has to like be the heroine's bodyguard. 
sign me up. For a book off of my Libby, I'm going to be picking up Ready or Not by Cara Bastone. This one has been long awaited for me. I've had this hold on Libby since this book came out earlier this year. I've been dying to read it. I love Cara Bastone, okay? And then I love surprise pregnancy books. And then this book has like an added twist to it where the heroine is not pregnant by the hero. I think they're like best friends or something. And um, she's pregnant with another guy's baby and they end up falling for each other. It kind of reminds me of um, Damaged Goods by Talia Hibbert. That one, the heroine is pregnant by her like abusive husband, but then she ends up leaving her abusive husband and gets with the hero who was like her childhood first love or something like that. Um, so that one reminds me of this book. So love everything about this book so far. I haven't even read it. I love it. That's by Cara Stone. Obviously love her writing. And then the premise sounds so good. And then the cover is absolutely stunning. Like I would print this out and frame it on my wall. Like I want this cover as like an art piece. I want to make sure to read some of my favorite authors backlist. So I put The Shake Up by Edie Mitchell on this list. My Libby has this book as an ebook for me to check out. And it's only a novella. It's 115 pages. And I think our heroine is a chef which love that. That's all I know. And I think I saw some like spicy NSFW <laughs> artwork on her Instagram that made me very intrigued to read this book and this whole series in general. And I think my Libby has all these books as ebooks for me to read. So I will definitely be reading this one when when my Libby hold comes in. I also want to make sure I'm continuing series that I'm reading. So um, this book came out, I think earlier this year. This is The Gargoyle from General Management by Kate Pryor. This is the third book in her Claws and Cubicle series. So these are monster romances that take place in the workplace. They're really fun. I really liked the two that I've read in the series. Oh, so it looks like also a ha our heroine is like a monster creature, which we've never really seen before in this series because in the other two, both heroines have been human. And I think our heroine in this one is a siren. Oh, and she's in heat. Okay. So Gwen really wants to apparently avoid the gargoyle who saw her vibe and did the TSA check. Except the very same gargoyle is her new manager who she has to work with. Sounds intriguing. Next is a book from an unknown author and a book like I've never heard of before. So an author and a book I've never heard of before. So this is Recipe for a Second Chance by Nick Spade. This is a best friend's dad romance. The heroine ends up coming into contact with Cole Harrington, her dad's best friend in the small town of Cedar Hollow when she returns there. It looks like both of them are struggling with grief. His wife died and then she lost a child. So they really relate to each other and I think are able to grow from their grief together and like lean on each other in some aspects. And I think since they spend so much time together, I think a romance obviously forms between the two of them. It sounds really good. It's not that long. And um, I think it also has disability rep of some sort, if I'm not mistaken. Next is to read a hyped book. I am so bad at reading hyped books, okay? I don't know if I read last month's hyped book. I don't think I did. I think last month was The Nanny or something. I did not read that. Like, I am not good at reading hyped books, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna read this one. It's gonna happen. This is Corrupt by Penelope Douglas, okay? I know, I have not read this book yet. I've read a few Penelope Douglas books. I think I've read Punk 57 and I've read Birthday Girl. This is the first book in the Devil's Night series, which I've heard a lot about. I don't really know much about this series. Um, all I know is that our heroine, I think like commits a crime or something in this book and it gets blamed on these four guys in her town and they end up going to jail. And then when they get out of jail, they want revenge on her or something like that. that is all that I know about it. I do want to keep up to date with new releases this year so I obviously am going to be picking Only and Forever by Chloe Lisa for the month of April. This one comes out at the very beginning of April. I will definitely be reading it. It's the last book in the Bergman Brothers series. Vigo is our hero in this one. I've been dying for his book and that's all I know. I, I can't wait. I cannot wait for this one. And I'm a little sad that this series is ending because it's definitely my favorite series by Chloe for sure. And so I honestly though, can't wait to see what she writes next after this. Like what, what other stuff is she gonna be doing? And then lastly, I have a alien monster romance pick. I love picking at least one every month to put on a TBR because they're so fun. I found this one and it looks so fun. This is an MM romance. This is Aliens Abducted My Heart by Hawk 
Oakley. Isn't this cover just so cool? I need to tell Tiffany about it because this cover looks like a Tiffany book. Okay, so it looks like our hero, Captain Levi and his crew end up being abandoned and stranded on this different planet. It's like covered in florals, like it's a floral planet. However, they're not alone on this planet. They end up coming across big hunky aliens who are as strange as the beautiful flowers on the planet. When the aliens welcome them with open arms and tentacles, Levi is wary. No strangers can be that nice, especially not seven foot tall teal dudes with more feelers than you can shake a stick at. But Levi's suspicion fades when the smoldering alien Zator takes an unusual interest in him. He never got this much attention back on his own planet and no human man ever made his heart flutter the way Zator's does. That looks fun. That looks fun, that looks cute. And I haven't read a lot of MM alien romances. I don't feel like there are a lot out there right now. So I can't wait to read that. There you have it. Those are all the books that I will hopefully be reading in April and hopefully also many more. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me. What emoji are we gonna do today? Let's do an apple, apple emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.